Map is daybreak, ladies and gentlemen, and here in the top right hand corner of the map, we have our Red Zerg player from Team SCV Life. He's lost the last two games in a row, but he's won the last 12 weeks of Fight Club in a row. It's Hyun, his opponent here in the bottom left hand corner from MVP, down 3 1 at one point, but rallying back to tie things up. It's MVP finale, our Blue Protoss. So, daybreak. Uh, this is a very distinctive CVP map. Mm -hmm. um, it, it so often just follows the same course of action. Um, it's not uncommon for Protosses to take fast thirds. And if you get towards that 15 to 20 minute late game session, um, you know, of course, depending on what uh, what happens throughout the game. But if you make it to the Broodlords and the Mothership and all of these great things, there tends to just be about 37 spawn crawlers uh, over towards that center expansion for the Zerg player. And then they slowly creep forward across and make an attack on the Protoss. And it, it's, it's, you know, it's because the end game expansions are so close to each other and yet so vital. Uh -huh. uh, it's very easy for the Zerg to use static defenses to slowly push across and have a seriously a powerful attack against a Protoss player. And ultimately, Protoss want to try to avoid that. But, you know, Finale, I wonder what his approach is going to be in response to that, though, because he's he's obviously thrown a lot of looks. We've we've mentioned the different gas timings. We've mentioned the fact that he's kind of alternated between taking a quick throw to kind of throw Hyun off um, and going for those strong two base plays. Uh, he, you know, he was able, I, I think kind of luckily, but, you know, he was able to take advantage of it quite well last game, uh, take advantage of the fact that Hyun wasn't able to punish him for picking up on that seven gate blink play, play at the very beginning. So, um I really don't know what to expect out of Finale at this stage of the game. I hope he pylon blocks here. I'll say that. And oh. he's not so far, but he's blocking this a little bit longer. Oh, nope. nope. sad. He actually, I mean, he shift clicks his probe like away from the hatchery. So uh -huh. I, I feel like he just wants the hatchery to go down. It's actually part of Finale's grand scheme of part of Finale's grand finale. It's, uh, I know it's the early game. It doesn't really. Uh, uh, Every time I make a bad this joke, could be the I can rely on Kevin to let me know. Finale of Hyun Club. What? I'm sorry, I'm 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 done. Oh, I thought you were mocking. I thought no, I no, no. I, I was making another. I was trying to support you. I was making uh, another finale pun. I was saying this could be the finale of Hyun Club. If <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, if I was a little bit smarter, I would have gotten it. No, it's okay. Gotta gotta know the commentator you're working with here, Kevin. Self-deprecated humor is always appreciated here. Yeah, see, they use big words like that. <laughs> 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 you like that? That was that yeah. was like compounding. That was exciting. I remember one time I was on a I was on a school bus. We were going to a field trip. Some of us were sitting in the back, and a school bully was was sitting close to us, kind of was making fun of us. And I, I looked over and I said, "Please, just just give me one word that uses more than three or more than two syllables." And he goes, "I don't know." And the guy sitting next to me says, you could have said syllable. You could have said syllable. <laughs> and it would have worked. <laughs> anyway, my friend Dan's watching. That's, oh, man. Uh, that's, a, that's a shout out to you. Wow, that makes you feel really, really. All right, so <laughs> let's move into this game. Uh, guys, <laughs> uh, we were talking about what is Finale going to do here? Because, um, well, actually, I, I want to point out that his late game has actually been doing incredibly well mm -hmm. versus Hyun. Yeah. In the late game. Inadvertently sometimes, but it's worked out for him. Uh, I mean, you know, now it's going to be kind of weird because this is a map that's, that's you know, predom it was predominated by the, the strong roach attacks because Protoss players couldn't hold on to a third, but then they figured out, ah, I can actually hold on to a third. It's not that hard to just do it with a couple of sentries, take it early, and I'm all right. Uh, since then, we've started to see that this map has, I don't want to say stagnated, but it's slowed down as now we have a much more passive brand of play. Things that go towards the back. Hey, see, there's the burning supply depot, as uh, Hyun always does. And we start to see just kind of massive late game four base versus five base top tier tech pushes. And uh, I, I would like to see Finale maybe try and throw that on its head a little bit and try something a little bit weirder. Well, the Robo's going down before plus one. If we see a quick plus one after this, he's currently sitting on four gases, 
timed as if he could be going for some sort of all in play, which of course are not uh, weak on this map. There's the plus one coming out of finale, guys. Uh, I would not be surprised if we saw uh, seven or eight gateways um, uh, uh, all together here uh, with a big push out of finale. Um, of course, down the bottom right hand side, we actually saw this at IPL3 in Anori versus Stefano. It was a. Uh, oh my god, uh, you're right. Yeah. It, yeah, it's an incredibly powerful attack. Yes, the metagame has certainly shifted, but. Um, at, you know, with the shift of a metagame, actually, you know, certain strategies become more powerful because people aren't expecting them anymore. You mentioned rock. You always like to mention rock paper scissors in terms of like um, uh, greed versus balance play versus strong aggression and things like that. There's also kind of a rock paper scissors that exists in terms of the metagame too, because sometimes you'll see strategies that'll fall out of favor as they get countered by a new strategy. Well, then that new strategy becomes predominant and actually gets countered out by another strategy. Well, then when that strategy becomes predominant. Dominant, it could actually be countered by the first strategy. And so you start to see this kind of cyclical process as uh, things become more powerful at times. And now we can see, of course, what is that? Uh, already Immortals are being produced. It's going to be the fourth unit that hits the field. And uh, this may not let up for, uh, for Finale here. Uh, so two gateways going down right now. Um, and only two. He is making more and more immortals. Ah, and yeah, here's some, so here come the extra gateways. Now, I'm wondering, is this going to be a two immortal, or is it going to be that three immortal push? And you know, it is a big map, so you want to get across the, the uh, you want to be able to get across it in a reasonable amount of time. But uh, yeah, even one more gateway going to be dropped down uh, in a second, it looks like. There it is. Yep. Six. Oh, wow. This is going to be seven gateways uh, out of finale for this push. Yeah, we're going to see a whole the overseer. lot of sentries here in a second. And the Overseer sees... Oh, so close. Sees everything. It. it sees enough. It doesn't see the seventh gate, no. But it sees six gates, and it sees two Immortals. And there's the third Immortal. So, yes, we are going to have that very strong 1-1-3 one, one, Immortal push. And uh, Hyun, though, maybe this is where his tons of uh, Speedlings is going to be able to serve him well again. Mm, well, you know, he caught uh, Finale out of position that one time. Uh, I don't think, you know, Finale's going to be on top of it because both times he's tried this push, he's been caught out of position. He's either let Lings into his main as a counterattack uh -huh. or he let his sentries get caught. Right. I don't expect them to let that happen again. But here's the thing I want to point out from Hyun is that he's starting up pathogen glands right now and infestors are incredibly powerful against attacks of comprised of like 15 sentries. Sentries getting surrounded right now. What is Finale doing? Throwing down a guardian shield when only one roach is firing at his units. He's losing everything once again. Loses every single sentry that was out there except that one. He just got caught out in the open. And he loses that sentry even. I'm so sad right now, Kevin. Oh, boy. Hyun, oh, this is almost game number one in repeat. Yeah, um, it really is. Because, I mean, it's not the 8K plus 2. It's the 7th gate, 1-1-3 one, one, Immortal. But I'm sorry. Like, Hyun just built himself a massive advantage, guys. I mean, uh, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to relate how big of an advantage this is. There's uh, <sighs> there's investors coming out. Pathogen Glance is done. He can put on pressure. His opponent is never going to put up a third. Um, Hyun is in a magnificent position. Yeah, he could not be more happy at this stage. Finale, what can he do from here? He's penned in his base on two bases while Hyun is taking a fourth right now down in that 5 o'clock position. Now, he is chrono boasting out. Uh, the plus one armor behind all this, of course, uh, uh, talking about Finale here. But look, Hyun this time is remembering to get his upgrades. That one critical component, which in these games where he's been behind, Force Field going to go now. Traps a nice contingent of forces here, though. So that's going to be a small victory for Finale, who's going to be falling back with these sentries. Will he even lose a single unit? Plus one, two, actually. Two. Yeah, I, I selected him after the first one went down. So two sentries go down, but of course, what is that? Four roaches, 15, 20 zerglings or something like that. So not a bad trade for Finale. And uh, But now Hyun, we can see he's moving back. He's already got five investors. He's got three more on the way. He's going to do mass speedlings apart from that because he really doesn't need that many more roaches. He just needs to quickly surround and force energy out of sentries while he pins them down with fungal growths. Yeah, this is uh, an incredibly difficult attack for Finale to make succeed. I mean, we're 12 and a half minutes at this stage. Um, if he hadn't lost that first portion of forces, yeah, he'd be sitting on more like 135 supply right now instead of 117. And, and that would mean, you know, he has nine extra sentries. But here we go, Link's coming in. Nice force field's gonna block the uh, investors for a moment. He is allowing his units to tank the brunt of these Zerglings, I guess, you know, not being caught surrounded. He feels like they can tank most of the damage, and they do. Not too many units lost there, but blows a lot of force fields. We'll see if he can make it work.
Okay. Um, did actually blow a lot of force fields, but you can yeah. see that he's still got some energy left. I mean, this enter this in, uh, century has almost three force fields saved up, and he did force a lot of mm -hmm. uh, the energy off of the infestors. Looks like there's a little bit of damage being done here down at the bottom right. Uh, and Hyun actually does have to rally in a significant number of forces once again to be able to combat this, but as soon as he does, uh, he'll start to find his way back in now as this hatchery is under fire, but it looks like he's going to move in before it finally goes away. Yeah, not going to bother to opt to kill it. He doesn't want his forces to be caught split up or a fungal growth to trap or anything of that nature. Notice that Finale has not grabbed a third, trying to throw down some force fields to catch units out of position. Catches only a few. These are actually hurting the Zealots right now. So many infested Terrans. Finale has to retreat. Not a bad place for Finale to end up engaging, though, because he's able to make his way off of creep. But now he's actually sitting and delaying and killing the hatchery, which is great, except for the fact that the uh, infested Terrans are starting to catch back up and starting to do damage to the rest of, uh, of Finale's forces. However, you know, Hyun, I, I, I feel like he's, he's mismanaged this engagement just a little bit again. I think he's giving his opponent a little bit too big of an opportunity to start to find his way back in. Even though Hyun is still in a decent spot, he's got another 54 links coming up. It seems like he's just making it hard on himself uh, through a lot of these games. Well, there aren't really any force fields to go down no. for these 100 billion links that are coming out compared to Finale's army. I mean, yeah, the uh, the supply on both of these players is not too crazy different. How much energy do these sentries have? Or the uh, uh, investors, excuse me, not much at all, in fact. If Finale can get an engagement against the edge of a wall here, he could certainly kill this army. But he can't be caught out in the middle of the lane. Jeez, I mean, Hyun just almost needs... I mean, he's only got three queens up right now, so that means his injects aren't as good as they could be. Finally, a fourth has started. He had a lot of or, or a lot of money that was sitting around. Could go into more investors here in just a bit. And like I said, I, I just feel so uncomfortable here because Hyun has had so many opportunities, and I feel like he's just kind of let a few of those slip away, as now Finale is going to be able to take down this hatchery, too, and his opponent's just sitting on two bases. Well, third is dead. Finale retreating, but notice Hyun's army swinging in from the top. He either is going... Yeah, looks like he's going for a big counterattack here. Probably expecting a third to be dropped, actually, by Finale. But the reality is, there's no third. Um, so does Finale have anything at home in order to deal with this already? Let's see. Not really. No there's a gap in his wall. Yeah, no forces. A gap in his wall. Yeah, he needs to, to warp in something there here in just a bit. And Ooh. actually, oh, Hyun is going to be able to pick up on this. Sees the uh, the probe there, which is actually going to be able to put down the Nexus, funnily enough. Yep. But Finale is going to have to come back to defend it as soon as he does. Looks like Hyun's chasing down forces around the side. Yeah, he actually forgot to hold position, that Zergling. Uh, Zell can be caught. Zergling coming in to try to force the cancel. Looks like they will succeed, and they're going to dart away. Uh, uh, immediately after doing so. All right. Well, now that he produced another round of Infestors, okay, I was about to say, he's got to make another hatchery, and he does. So there's one coming up over at the third, and he still does have a lot of forces on the map, 178 supply of them. But uh, the sentries are starting to rebuild a little bit of energy. Forces a cancel, actually, on this hatchery once again. Yeah, with uh, four zealots, really, really important to delay economy at this stage, guys. Maybe, like, four zealots for 75 minerals, you're throwing these zealots away, you know. Um, and, yeah, he definitely is. Uh, as the roaches are going to come in and easily clean these up cost efficiently. But the amount of time, look at this, this hatchery still hasn't gone down yet. Zealots immediately targeting again, it gets killed this time. That made those zealots worthwhile. 300 minerals for 400 and a 75 cancel and several uh, mul multitudes of seconds. Several multitudes, Kevin. <laughs> several multitudes. Yes. Man, that's that's at least five. Um, so let's two, see here. Two times two is four. All right, all right. I'll give you it's, it. That's it a, well, carry the one and, you know, I mean, the math works out. But um, third base is coming out now for Finale. It's about halfway <laughs> done. And he still doesn't have a lot of splash damage here, but he has reaccumulated most of the energy on his on his sentries. And gosh, I mean, Hyun was in magnificent position before, and he still is. Don't get me wrong, he's still in a good position, but I, I just feel like he's had so many opportunities to uh, to just push ahead in this game. So let's see here now. The Colossi are in position, or one Colossus, I guess. Uh, Fungal Gross actually hitting the vast oh, majority wow. of the forces, but none of the casters off to the right, so they are actually able to drop down most of their energy. Um, but now Hyun is starting to rally in with the rest of his forces. And even though this Colossus is doing work here at the back, it's slowly being whittled down. And with it, the rest of the forces from Finale. There's GG. Hyun takes the game. He's up 4-3 to three now and just one game away from securing yet another victory. That is exactly how you kill a Protoss force. You fungal the army and then you drop infested Terrans everywhere. And then they just can't, then you don't need fungal growths to even hold them in place. Because the infested Terran eggs do it.
Yep. Yep. There it is. How it happens. They do provide a blocker unless you kill them. So, all right. Well, that's seven games of the bag. We're going to game number eight now. It is Finale's choice of map. It's been a while since he's actually picked, and it looks like he is going to choose Whirlwind. So we're going to run to a commercial break, guys. Uh, while you're away, make sure you check out um, the uh, our friends over at Jumani are actually giving away a bunch of IPL5 tickets, general admission tickets. So head over to IGN.com slash IPL5 promo. It is the number five, IGN.com slash IPL5 promo and you'll find out how to actually sign up for those and uh, hopefully we'll see you out at IPL5 in a, in a couple of weeks. That'd be pretty awesome, especially if you were wearing a pair of these. Our friends at Gunner giving us a set of glasses. You can check these out uh, and score yourself this this particular pair of baddies uh, at IGN.com slash IPL giveaways, which you can see right over my head. Just go there. Like, why not? It's commercial break anyways. Just do it. Just go get yourself a free pair of Gunners. All right, guys. Well, we are going to run to the commercial break. We'll be right back for game number eight. We'll see if Hyun can close things out or if Finale can tie things up.